Hillshire walked through the door with this trunk, and when they opened it, there were all these documents that their grandfather and grandmother had written, and the gold pan that their grandfather had been handling and, you know, panning for gold with. Um, so that is, is what makes it a valuable collection. It helps extend our knowledge of the Klondike Gold Rush and Seattle's role in that gold rush, um, but it also gives you that tangible connection to an actual person. The Klondike Gold Rush started um, in 1896, technically is when the gold was found by George Carmack and a group of other people. But the Portland steamer came down in, on July 17th of 1897, I believe it was, and docked in Seattle with two tons of gold. And it sort of started this huge uproar across the country. And Seattle in general tried to make itself the number one place to stop to go to Canada. Because before you went to Canada, you needed to have enough food and supplies to survive those winters. John F. Hilscher was a man who decided to go to the Klondike to see if he could strike it rich and spent quite a bit of time up there. Um, he mined a little bit and eventually started um, so, some business ventures. The Hilscher collection is considered a um, very valuable collection for the park's history. Um, and so they were very excited when it walked through the door and they opened this trunk and here's all these rolled up documents and a gold pan that, that we can associate with somebody. For conservation it implies a more active role, um, possibly with repair or uh, definitely um, uh, addressing some of the needs and the special handling needs of a piece. So facilitating repair for this particular object which has a large, a fairly large tear, um, we might consider doing a tracing of the actual, of the actual tear and then by scoring it, tearing. Okay, so we end up with a small repair that mirrors the actual um, tear and then that can be adhered to the verso of the piece. Again, applying the principle of reversibility so that uh, anything that's done uh, can be undone easily and also, um, well, it has to be strong enough to hold up of, of years of handling. We really are uh, preserving a resource of the park. Um, we consider as, as curators uh, the papers that we receive, the objects that we receive, a resource for the management of the park. Uh, so to us it's the same as the animals that are roaming around the parks or the, the plants that are growing in the park, the cultural collections, the uh, museum collections are a resource.